Welcome back, graduates. Today, I'm going to give you a run through. We are not completely done yet, but this is going to be just a uh, fast run through of Ecomify 3.2. Uh, so what I have right here is our documentation, and now uh, because uh, we are out of the uh, one and two cycle, just make sure that when you view the documentation, you're viewing the correct change log and also the uh, features uh, and sections and uh, settings as well down here, where it's both where it says uh, Ecomify 3.0 uh, 3 all the way through 3.9. Uh, so when you click on that, it's going to bring you down to all of the uh, documentation here and then this is where we are wanting to look here uh, so if you're not on this page um, and you do see a version 2 that means you're on the wrong change log uh, also we have um, been updating our documentation so please Make sure uh, that if you do have any questions uh, that uh, to view this uh, as we do as we have gone through uh, the settings and the how to's uh, for the features and settings that are involved in the updates. Um, but if you uh, still have questions, definitely, definitely reach out. You can just email us at uh, ecomify at ecomgraduates.com and one of us will be able to help. Or if you'd like, join our Discord channel um, and if you uh, haven't already or also our YouTube um, and please also for uh, the help of the YouTube algorithm just uh, make sure to comment like and subscribe uh, that really does help us out so let's get into this uh, so this is a change log and um, to be announced at the moment we are perfecting we're going through uh, some things but let's go uh, into some of the awesome new uh, features um, so I'm just going to go through the uh, new ones uh, and then you can look uh, through the rest. So uh, right now we have also some of these could be enhancements as well uh, for the uh, uh, pre-existing uh, features and setting and sections that we already have. Uh, but this is a these are considered new. It's a loop setting for video in the carousel. Uh, this was uh, highly requested by you guys uh, that if there is a video uh, option, if there is a video displayed uh on the carousel, please make sure that the video is looping through. So we do have that option. Uh, for the quantity selector, another one is above the add to cart option. So you do, so what that looks like is when you go into the 3.2, go into customize, you're gonna go onto the product page. I'm on I'm on a large screen monitor, so my settings are left and right. Uh, settings on the left, um, blocks and sections on the left and settings on the right. But I'm just gonna go in kind of show you uh, what that looks like. Uh, so here is the product template. In the product template, when you click on product template, there are a lot of settings uh, to play around with uh, <clears throat> on the right sidebar. So uh, right over here, if uh, you uh, if you guys have uh, uh, asked before, where's the preview and next and, and this and that, it's going to be in the product uh, parentheses template and you can just toggle this off and on. Uh, so scrolling down here, we have the uh, spacing uh, and and uh, image thumbnail or no image thumbnail, uh, image orientation. So just make sure you're going through each of the uh, settings that the blocks and uh, sections uh, do offer for you guys. Uh, so for here, we're going to go down to the uh, buy buttons because these are the buy buttons. So for here, we have show quantity field. We have now quantity field positioning, inline or above. Inline means right across or, right, or uh, just right above it. Uh, so you'll see after it updates a little bit, it'll go right above so it's not the same line as the add to cart. Uh, so going back to the uh, carousel, just wanted to uh, show you that. Uh, we do have a video right over here. This is the uh, general settings for it and we do have a loop option. Now. Refresh this. Going into uh, minimum, th uh, minimum order threshold settings in the cart. Uh, we do have uh, actual documentation on this as well. You can just filter uh, right over here and, and that. Uh, but what this looks like is if you go into theme settings. Um, so a lot of you, uh, we realize, don't know about this, but this these are the three main uh, uh, elements. It's going to be the sections, um, and then it's going to be theme settings, and then it's going to be your apps. Uh, so for theme settings, it's going to change like the whole um dynamic and, and functionality of your store. Uh, so when I go into theme settings, I'm going to go under my cart and at the very bottom here, uh, we do have videos on this as well. Just wanted to show you run through minimum order. It's at the very, it's towards the very bottom as well as package protection that we do offer uh, now as well. So minimum order, this means basically that 
your customers cannot um, ch uh, check out until they have reached that minimum order that you uh, set. Uh, so I have it toggled on, but if there is a product that's five dollars um, and you have a minimum order, and just make sure you have a min minimum order of two hundred. It, it's going to take a lot for them to actually check out. So you want to make sure that this is uh, important to toggle off or on and something to test out. Uh, another thing we have is the shipping protection uh, checkbox. We do have documentation on that. Um, it's a very powerful uh, feature. We are going to uh, be updating that a little bit uh, later, maybe with a info box or a modal, but that is also in your theme settings, scrolling at the very bottom uh, and, and choosing, uh, creating the product uh, and then choosing that product right over here in your cart settings towards the bottom, and then also the text. Uh, keep note that the uh, brackets and price um, do have to stay bolded as keep that format right there. And all you have to do is change out this, this text here. And also uh, this indicates that it is a hyperlink to another page. Uh, moving forward, we do have uh, 3D button styles as well. Not sure if you like it or not, but we want to give you guys that option. Uh, for a different uh, style so it changes the whole button uh, all around um, so what you're going to want to do is i'm going to go back into my theme settings my styling i have as you guys already know border radius changes the whole uh, store from you know rounded to uh, nice sharp edges rolling down here then you're going to see 3d style so once you untoggle that it's just going to be like this flat one-dimensional uh, style Want to give you guys the option, kind of like a, a 3D effect, and it changes the whole uh, store as well. Um, the next thing, prevent users from right clicking. Um, so right now, when I go onto the store, I have right now I'm clicking my right, and I'm not able to uh, to click and quote quote steal content or or whatever you know right clicking might do for you guys. Uh, so we do have that prevention uh, feature as well. Going on to the next one. Um, then we have fetch priority in carousel, uh, collection filters uh, within. We have, to, we have a uh, documentation on that as well, if you, if you guys might not know what that is. Um, then we do have collection filters within the uh, content in desktop view. Um, collection filters. So that means, so we have adjusted in 3.2. A lot of you guys have said, oh, we really want the filters to just be there on desktop instead of on a slide out. So on. If you go to the collections right now, uh, it there are uh, filters, but on de but on uh, mobile it will slide out uh, as as um, as it is on uh, mobile uh, performance. Um, then we do have guest and member visibility. We do have that on a lot of sections. We can't have it on every section, but we do have it on a lot of sections. And what this basically allows is uh, if you are uh, logged out, you can see different content than when you were log logged in as a customer. Uh, we do have a video on this, but that was that was a very powerful and um, exciting new feature. Um, then we do have cart upsells to show on the uh, menu bar for mobile. Um, so when you're on mobile, we do have the option now here. Uh, we have rounded also uh, the cards if you're choosing a rounded state um, to match the cart, the any of the uh, slide out menus. So the cart, the search, the wish list, uh, and uh, right over here on a menu, you do have the option now uh, to have that. Uh, in addition, we do have, uh, some of you have mentioned that uh, you guys have threads accounts. We do have the option for you to uh, link your thread and the icon for it as well now. Uh, and uh, there you go for that, uh, the thread social link option. And also we do now support the video option and slide through video option for the animated stories as that is new and also an enhancement. We've all, uh, also fixed some things as well as you can check the down here so you'll see um, when you do update um, something uh, everything should uh, work now and uh, there should not be any more uh, bugs but again if there are any uh, please please uh, feel free to email us at ecomify at ecomgraduates.com one of us will um, uh, send out a support uh, and assist you guys with it so again uh, please look at our documentation we've taken a lot of time to go into here uh, explain everything you guys can uh, build out the best store ever for you guys